Hey friends, I am headed to the garden. I've got my basket and my little chair with the cushion on it so I can sit on the ground and pick stuff. Got my gloves, my little clippers in there. And I have a second basket because I think we're gonna have quite a bit today with some of my scraps for the chickies because the chickies are down there by the garden. So we are going to take a golf cart down. I do have me a glass of ice water. I'm gonna stop at my little kitchen garden over here first. Come around here. I've got a couple of cucumbers in the kitchen kitchen garden that I know need hit. I seen them last night. Here we go. My kitchen garden is looking very sad, but oh, they're looking thirsty. We've got my cucumbers have started to die off over there, but we're going to plant something else for a fall garden. But we've got our okra here. And this was our lettuce. It's coming back again. We've got some tomatoes and my peppers. These are my bell peppers and my banana peppers. Some of those need clipped, it looks like. And these are my green beans. They did not take up here. They took in the other garden down the hill, but they're just, they're just not doing great. Some of them we have, um, Oh, these look okay. Maybe I just jumped the gun. Maybe I just got discouraged. I don't know. Like this one right here, though. Some of them we're saving and just going to see them for next year. But anyway, these are my cucumbers. These are the ones that are pretty much dying off. But I have two hanging up here that I'm excited about. And we planted some more out here and some pumpkins. So look at all these banana peppers. They're not too big. But... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of these and then we'll head down to the big garden. All right, this is what we've gotten out of our little kitchen garden this morning, or this afternoon, this evening. I don't know what time it is, it's like four. These are some of the green beans that I found. I decided I would go ahead and pick those. And it's not much, my peppers aren't very big, but that's okay, I'm gonna snack on these, I think. Um, and they don't have to be very big, doesn't have to be a whole lot because every little bit counts throw these tomatoes into those bags and then whenever we get enough built up saved up we can make us some spaghetti sauce or we can just munch on these for a salad now every little bit now we will head to the big family garden down the hill and um i'm starting so late in the day because i had to do my inside chores and i have to work tomorrow so and i will be gone until today's wednesday i have to work tomorrow and i'll be gone until friday so I had a couple of inside projects as well as my chores, vacuuming dishes, blah, 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 I had to do. So now we're getting started and gonna to try to get some stuff done before church tonight. My mother-in-law is already up here at the family garden. We have to keep the gate closed because we've got the horses out. But, hello, here's our garden. You can see our sunflowers up. We're gonna go through the gate and see what goodies we can find. All right. Here is our family garden, all thanks to Justin's mama. She has got a green thumb. I'm so excited. This is our first year to have this garden here, so it's doing really good for the first year. And I tell you what everything was, but I don't want to get it wrong. So I know that these are decorative gourds, and then she's got, um, these are some kind of squash. Anyway, sunflowers, and then we've got some spaghetti squash and sweet potatoes. And these are sunflowers and watermelons coming up through here. This is all of our cantaloupe. And we've got like sunflowers kind of planted randomly everywhere. And the spaghetti squash has taken over. So this looks like a big mess, but it's gonna be okay. And I just saw right here, we've got a spaghetti squash coming up. And this is our okra taken off here. So excited. You can see where out, how there's more nutrients on this end than down there because that's all okra too. It was all planted at the same time. So that's kind of crazy, right? And then our cucumbers are just <laughs> sprawling everywhere. And then we've got our uh, zucchini and squash here and tomatoes here, green beans that way, snap peas that way. We've got all kinds of stuff. And I'm very excited. I've never grown a garden this big, but Justin's mom is 
perfect at it and she is having so much fun with it as are we and I'm so excited and our, our tomatoes are not uh, uh, what color are tomatoes red yet um, so sometimes they have to help me determine if they're ready to pick or not but that's okay um, anyhow sometimes colors are an issue but right now we won't worry about that right now I'm going to pick these green beans you can see I got my little seat down there I'm gonna get started and let's see what all we can harvest today. I have learned that sitting on this little stadium seat that I got for, I thought it was $2 at a yard sale, but I found a 50 cent sticker on it. So that I got for 50 cents at a yard sale is much better on me to just sit on the ground and do it this way than hunch over because my back will hurt. So uh, I like this little stadium seat that I call my garden chair now. Okay, we have gotten a great bit of harvest out of the garden. But it's about 5.20 and I want to try to get dinner started so I can get it cooked and done before we go to church. We well, might eat it before church, we might eat it after church, but Justin made it home. He met me over at the garden and sat with me for a minute while I was finished picking. We got some green beans! I'm so excited. Okay, back in the house. I have changed my shirt so I'm not working with dinner and stuff in my work, garden, sweaty, dirty shirt. Uh, and... What I did was I made some meatloaf for supper and I knew I was gonna use some leftover stuffing that we had in the fridge. And I was gonna use a zucchini out of the garden to make mine. And I sawed two more pounds, you can see right here. And I'm going to meal prep some meatloaf since I had all the stuff out and I was gonna be making some, I thought I would thaw, thaw three pounds. So I used one to make half a pound of non-gluten free and half a pound gluten free for me. Uh, for supper tonight and then I'm just going to use these two pounds to make a one whole pound of each and I'll probably separate one into half so I can just make like a half I don't know I don't know what I'll do but anyway I am shredding up some zucchini and I'm just using this little shredder that I've got right here uh I don't have the big one out because I'm not going to shred like a bazillion zucchinis tonight and so that's what I'm starting with uh on preserving tonight a little bit different preservation uh more like meal prep preservation but it's for later when school starts. I can chuck it in the crock pot. Meatloaf, done. All right, so I already did the stuffing part of the meatloaf for everybody else, so I'm gonna do the zucchini. I thought I'd just show you guys. I've just got a half a pound of the deer that we butchered ourselves last fall, and we got quite a bit of this zucchini, and we put it in a little towel and, and tried to get all the juice out of it best we could. So I'm gonna put however much I think makes it look like it's gonna be okay. Cause I want to save, I've got another half pound, so I just want to save that. And we've got some onion out of the garden. And we've got an egg from our chickies. Oh. And our son just pulled in the driveway, so you hear our dog barking. That's fine. And then, let me wash my hands. We've got some ketchup. And whatever kind of seasoning that you like, I use this Nature Seasons. With a little garlic powder. still frozen. And now it's ready for the freezer. So I started with a half a pound of meat. But we have, adding that zucchini, it, it made it really bulk. Oh, I dropped some. I'm going to have to clean it up in just a second. We uh, bulked it up really good. So that will probably be a dinner for me, a lunch for me, and maybe even the next night's dinner for me at least. So I'm just going to put that in a freezer baggie, and that's what I'm doing with that zucchini. All right, 
I got those meatloafs done and we're still waiting on that one to finish. It is 624, so I've got about, hmm, about 10 minutes before I need to get in the shower. Our church is just right up the road from our house. So the meatloaf is still going on the grill that I'm making for supper. I've got those meatloafs prepped. I'm going to cut this zucchini since I've got a few more minutes left. Um, this is like the perfect size for me to slice for when I make zucchini ravioli, which is like a, a ravioli lasagna. So I'll use regular ravioli when I'm making it for Justin and the kids. Um, and I'll use this zucchini when I make it for myself. And I just like to slice it up into slices. And that's all. They won't eat. They don't like the zucchini. So it's just me that eats it. I'm fine with that. All right, here we are. It's not much, but every little bit counts, right? We've got some zucchini sliced for use when I make like a ravioli lasagna kind of thing, or we can fry this up. We've got two zucchini meatloafs here for me and a stuffing meatloaf for Justin and the kids, which I will freeze this way. And the purpose of that is I cut, I can freeze it in this shape and I cut the bag off of it, drop it straight into the crock pot and let it cook all day, put some ketchup on it and it's good to go. Uh, if you don't have room in your freezer space, just freeze it flat and then thaw it and, and then you can um, cook it that way. But I, can, I will cook this from frozen. So I will just cut the bag off around it and it will it's already able to fit in my crock pot in that shape. Same with these. These will fit into my crock pot in this shape. That is our preservation for today. <laughs>